Hello everyone, just delay it one more. Uh, I have met many friends and they will think that as long as we are Tibetans, uh, we could be able to understand each other when we chat. But to be exact, you know, the biggest difference among our Tibetans is that the languages are not very similar. So next, let's briefly understand the difference among them from language together with one more. In the Tibeto-Burman language group, the largest language area is Tibetan. Using Tibetan region exact for the center with the China's Tibet and also including the Tibetan concentration area like Qinghai, Gansu, Sichuan and Yunnan provinces and neighboring countries such as Pakistan, uh, Indian, Nepal and Bhutan and the Himalayan region. Just like I was saying, uh, Tibetan has uniform written language, but the spoken language uh, varies from place to place. Tibetan language has three major dialects, Uitsang dialect, Kham dialect, and Ando dialect. The differences among the three dialects are mainly in phonetics, followed by vocabulary and grammar. As for me, I grew up in a Khan district, so I speak Khan dialect. I remember hearing a song that called Nyam Dundro when I was a child. And when I heard it, I thought that they were singing wrong because the pronunciation is different from what I learned. And until I uh, went to college and majored in English and Tibetan translation, that I realized that the song I listened to when I was a child belonged to the uh, pronunciation of Witsang dialect. Not only that, there were also many students from different Tibetan areas in my university class. Although we all know the Tibetan characters, but when we're communicating, you know, some can understand, but some cannot. So we use Mandarin or English instead of Tibetan. And now I'm living in Lhasa, uh, so what I contact is with some dialect. Fortunately, I have learned it in my university, so uh, communication is not much of a problem, otherwise it will be awkward. Word. In my own contact with friends from different Tibetan areas, I think Witan dialect is very gentle, like and Kham dialect sounds like a recitation, like and Ando dialect has a distinct rhythm, like of course, this is just my own idea and I don't know what do you think of that. So I have found some video recordings in three different dialects and we can listen to them together. <laughs> Not only that, there are also different uh, Tibetan dialects in different regions, but Uitsam, Kham, and Amdo are the uh, three major dialects. So when you want to learn Tibetan, you can learn it according to your favorite pronunciation. So have you learned more about Tibetan languages? Okay, if you encounter Tibetans, uh, don't think that they all speak with some dialect, maybe other dialects, right? Okay, well, it's time to say goodbye to everyone. And by the way, which one is your favorite dialect of Tibetan and what kind of dialect you want to learn? Please tell me. Okay, and see you next time. Bye.